Assalamu alaikum, I am Dr. Muhammad Atikur Rahman, Assistant Professor of Dermatology, Boshundra Adin Medical College. Now, today's lecture is fungal infection of the skin. We know fungal infection of the skin is a very much common disease. Mostly, it involves all the layers of the skin. Basically, fungal infection can be divided in three types. First one is superficial fungal infection, that means dermatophytosis. Second one is superficial candidiasis, and third one is tinea versicolor. These three types are basically involve the superficial layer of the skin. So, these three involves category 1 that is superficial skin infection. Category 2 is subcutaneous skin infection such as sporotrichosis, mycetoma, chromoblastomycosis. Again, repeat, subcutaneous fungal infections are sporotrichosis, mycetoma or mucormycosis. And third one is chromoblastomycosis. And category 3 is deep mycosis that involves the deep layer of the skin and internal organs such as liver, kidney, spleen, bones, joints, etc. These are aspergillosis, histoplasmosis, and such types of disease. So, if we repeat the lesson, basically fungal infection of the skin involves three zone or category three types of infections. Category one is superficial skin infection that is subdivided in three types that is dermatophytosis, tinea versicolor and superficial candidiasis. And category 2 is subcutaneous skin infection that is sporotrichosis, mucormycosis or mycetoma and chromoblastomycosis. And category 3 is deep mycosis for example, aspergillosis, histoplasmosis, cryptococcosis, etc. Now, we can proceed. The superficial skin infection are category A that is subdivided into dermatophytosis. You know the most common type of fungal infections include the dermatophytosis or tinea infection. Dermatophytosis are subdivided into many types according to the site of involvement such as if it involve the head it is called tinea capitis, if it involves the trunk it is called tinea corporis. Trinia curis, Tinea fasci, Tinea barbi, Tinea intertrigo, Tinea pedis, Tinea menam, etc. And Tinea nigra is a special type of fungal infection that involves only the palm of the hands. It is hyperpigmented and asymptomatic. It is called tinea nigra. So, if, if 
if we describe the individual fungal infection dermatophytosis, first one is tinea capitis that involves the head. It is basically two types inflammatory tinea capitis and non inflammatory or mildly inflammatory tinea capitis. Inflammatory tinea capitis are favus and carrion. Favus and carrion are inflammatory tinea capitis. There is much inflammation, there is boggy swelling, there is discharging pus and there is chance of scarring alopecia. And non inflammatory or mildly inflammatory tinea capitis are black dot tinea. Black dot tinea, there is black pigmented dot on the alopecic area of the scalp. Whatever may be types, inflammatory tinea capitis need anti inflammatory drugs such as steroid that is systemic steroid short course for subsidization of the inflammation in case of inflammatory tinea capitis. So, in inflammatory tinea capitis we prescribe short course of steroid that is systemic steroid for stopping the inflammation and non inflammatory tinea that is antifungal tropical and systemic agent is sufficient. And in case of tinea barbi and tinea fasci, tinea barbi involve the mustache area or bearded area and tinea fasci involve the face, there is systemic antifungal typically double the dose is necessary. Especially in case of tinea fasci, if there is solitary lesion or single lesion or there is limited lesion you should prescribe systemic antifungal and duration and dose may be double the normal dose and duration in case of tinea fasci and tinea barbi. So, where we prescribe the antifungal systemic antifungal Indication of systemic antifungal, first one is extensive tinea, what may be the site, hugely extensive tinea infection there is systemic antifungal. Tinea fasci if there is solitary or single lesion must systemic antifungal, tinea barbi must prescribe systemic antifungal. Re resistance to topical or recurrence of the tinea after topical infection, then we prescribe systemic antifungal. Onychomycosis that means tinea infection of the nail, we prescribe systemic antifungal. And comorbid condition or there is immunosuppression, there need systemic antifungal and there is subcutaneous and deep mycosis must there is systemic antifungal. So, if we, re we repeat when we prescribe systemic antifungal in case of tinea infection, number one is extensive tinea infection we prescribe systemic agent. Second one is if there is recurrence or, re or re repeated tinea infection then we prescribe systemic antifungal along with topical agent. Tinea fasci, tinea barbi 
onychomycosis we prescribe systemic antifungal and tinea capitis also we prescribe tinea. and besides this if there is subcutaneous fungal infection and deep mycosis we also prescribe systemic antifungal. When we prescribe systemic steroid or topical steroid in case of fungal infection, remember this in case of topical fungal infection, in case of fungal infection, topical steroid may be prescribed for less than 7 days, not more than 7 days. If you prescribe combination therapy, antifungal agent with topical steroid, you may prescribe it for less than 7 days. For initial inflammation subside, just for initial inflammation subside, we stop the topical steroid along with topical antifungal agent, but when we prescribe systemic antifungal along with systemic steroid, systemic steroid only prescribed in case of tinea capitis, inflammatory tinea capitis that is febus and carrion. for prevention of scarring alopecia. And on eichomycosis, you know the fungal infection of the nail, most troublesome to manage. It is subdivided, subdivided in five types, that is superficial on eichomycosis lateral fold involvement, proximal fold involvement and distal onychomycosis and superficial white onychomycosis and total onychomycosis. What may be the, the type? Onychomycosis means the fungal tinea infection of the nail, nail. In case of fungal infection involving the nail, we must prescribe systemic antifungal along with topical agent for prolonged course. How the fungal infection can be diagnosed? First one is fungal infection is diagnosed by skin scraping for fungal microscopy with potassium hydroxide solution. A skin scraping with potassium hydroxide solution examination we will find the high fee or yeast from a fungal infection. It indicates the species of fungus. So, number one investigation is skin scraping for fungal microscopy with potassium hydroxide preparation. The second one is wood slam examination. In troublesome games, we can examine the fungal infected area with wood slam such as hair follicle or pigmented area that is confused with nevus or vitiligo, you can examine the fungal infected area with wood slam that indicate spe specific 
fluorescence indicate the type of fungal infection. And last one is skin biopsy for histopathology. It confirms that troublesome case may rarely be done, but it exclude the other pathology. And investigation another investigation are done for baseline investigation such as liver function, renal function, diabetic, other comorbidity, extra chest, etc. may need sometimes. And we prescribe antifungal agent for topical plus systemic fungal infection especially where the, that is troublesome fungal infection systemic agent are ag used such as extensive tinea corporis, onychomycosis, tinea capitis, tinea corporis, tinea menam, tinea pedis etcetera. Okay, best of luck.